Hey guys, in today's episode, we're working on these vents here. They're completely corroded and rusted. They don't work. I'll show you the back of these. They are out of a 1969 Corvette Stingray. So see at the back of these, they got so corroded that when somebody went to push this thing to like open the little vent in here that goes back and forth, it actually snapped these right off. See, just by pushing it like that. And this ball fell out of it. Uh, that's the problem with one of them. And on the other side, this one here, the passenger side. Okay, so here's the back of it. And see, I mean, none of this stuff moves. It's completely seized up on all these joints. See, on this one, they didn't break it. Like, nobody pushed on that hard enough for these to break. So, I'm going to show you how to fix both of these guys, starting with the one that's not cracked here. And then I'll show you how to fix this one with this whole thing broken off. Um, Okay, the first thing we gotta do is we're gonna clean all these rusted areas with just a drill with one of these on it. So I'm gonna clean that super good right now. Let's start with that. So just like this. Okay, we got that cleaned pretty good. Now we're gonna take some WD-40 and all these moving spots. You know, you gotta grease them up. Like, I'm just showing you guys that it doesn't really take much as long as you grease things up. You know, and then let it sit for a few minutes and we're gonna move it around with some pliers and just try to get it going a little bit. That's the trick to this, honestly. So we're gonna do that, every little moving part. Okay, give it a few minutes. Okay guys, so keep in mind this was completely seized up. So look at it now. See, we just started moving it back and forth. It's still moving very hard. Move it back and forth. It's definitely starting to work. So that was easy, we just greased it up. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wash all this. We're gonna take it outside, just wash it with the hose, and clean it up all good. So I'll do that. Okay guys, so we cleaned this thing super good and I mean, look at this. See, it works perfect now. Everything moves smoothly. I'll show you on the other side. So there it is. As you can see, it's nice and clean. There's no grossness in it. Everything's working super good. All the corrosion's off. See, it works perfect. No issues at all. See, there's two different settings for it. Okay, so this one's basically done. We just have to let it dry out really good. So I'll put it outside in the sun, and there's one more step we gotta do to it. But while we wait for that, I'll start on the other one. Okay guys, so now moving on to the driver's side. So as you can see, this is all broken. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna clean all this with that wired brush. We're gonna WD-40 it, get it moving. And I also noticed that this rod, see it's even bent. Somebody pushed it too hard and bent it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew this little handle from it, see? And we're gonna pull this whole thing right out. Okay guys, so we did the same thing. We greased it all up and look, it's already, see, working. Everything's starting to work. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bend this straight. Uh, it's not gonna be easy. Hopefully we don't break it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna bend this straight. I'm actually gonna heat it up with a blowtorch, grab it with some something and bend it straight. So we're using just a regular propane torch, nothing too crazy hot. Perfect, look at that, nice and straight. Okay, let's go wash all this, and we're also gonna wash all of that. Okay guys, so we got this thing cleaned up, this one cleaned up, this is the driver's side, and the passenger side is dry. Let's bring it inside, and I'll show you what we're doing with it. Okay guys, so we're inside. This is the passenger side one, the one that wasn't cracked. So we're taking some bearing grease, like just like you would do bearings on a car, putting some on her finger, and you're, you're gonna basically squeeze that into all the moving parts. You get what I'm saying? Just like you're greasing up a bearing. We're gonna do all that to it, every single part. It's on the inside, you're never gonna see it, plus this will prevent mice, and it'll prevent this from ever rusting again. So let's do that, I'm gonna do that all and show you guys how nice it works. 
squeezing it in. You want it to basically come out the other side. Okay guys, so there it is all greased up. See, that's what that should look like. Everything's greased up, no chance of it rusting again. And I mean, it moves so good now. It's doing everything it's supposed to be doing. So this vent is 100% fixed. So that's how you would fix it if it wasn't cracked. Now we're gonna move on to the vent that's cracked, the driver's side. You're gonna push this ball in really, really tight so this can go in. So as you can see, the problem here is that uh, like parts of this cracked. See right there, uh, right there. And there's like even a chunk missing here. Okay, so we got that ball in and now we're gonna put this thing in like this. See how it all lines up nicely. Um, okay, and then we got this type of metal. So we're just gonna cut little strips out of this just with some snips like that. Just like that. All right, let's put it on. Okay, so out of that, I made something like this. This is pretty stiff, honestly. It's very stiff. I have to use pliers to bend it. Something like that. So we're gonna make three of these just like that and screw them in. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. Okay, let's do that and see what it looks like. Okay, so there you go. That holds it pretty good. So we're gonna make three of those. All right, let's do it. Okay guys, so I mean, there it is. It's on there really good. And I just wanna point out, we also could have used metal strapping like this. Um, we're not quite done yet. So what we're gonna do now, I mean, this is on there super good. But another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a clamp like this and we're gonna put that clamp on there so it squeezes all those. So there's no way they can like open up and this can pop out, get it? I mean, that'll be 100%. So we can do that all around. Uh, we will just have to bend that open a little bit to get that in there and cut the end off here. Um, and the only other thing that might be a problem is underneath here, see? There is like a part right here, see? Uh, let me show you. That moves, see? So we're just gonna have to take a little bit of this clamp here and we're just gonna cut a little slice out of it so that can move. Okay, I'm gonna put all this together and show you guys how solid, honestly, this will be. Okay, see what I did here? I just cut a piece of the clamp out. No big deal. Okay, let's put it on. Okay, guys, so I mean, there it is. And as you can see, that has no chance of sliding out. Nothing's in the way of anything. Everything's looking super duper good. I'm super happy with that. See, that's in there good. This thing is super solid. Okay, we're gonna grease all these up now really quick, uh, just like we did on the passenger side, and I'll show it working, and that'll be that. Okay guys, so there it is. Look how nice that works, it's all greased up. Let me show you the other side. So there it is, the ball moves nice, and this opens just the way it should. And there you go, and that cost us basically nothing. Thanks for watching Problem Solver Garage, guys. Make sure you hit the like button, and remember guys, we're about to put all the interior back in. All we got left is to clean out the fuse box. That'll be the next episode. And the episode after that, we're reassembling all of the interior. Thanks for watching. Problem Solver Garage. Have a good day. Thumbs up, subscribe. See you guys later. I love this show. I'm gonna subscribe.